A warrior knows the difference between the transient and the enduring. He is free to choose his desires, and he always does so with courage. Things don't always go as expected, but a warrior is not discouraged by this. He knows there must be improvements. As he makes his way to his dreams, he learns that enthusiasm, strength, and skill are not enough, that what really counts is experience. There is no better teacher in the ring or in life that things we endure either make us or break us. This is a tale of a virtuous warrior making his way to the top. This is the story of Glenn Tappy. I'm on the grind, I ain't got no time to waste Knocking suckers out cause time is money And I've been on the grind from Monday to Sunday Yo, in the 12th round I see his heart's down Got me jabbing, use body shots to my bar now Focus and calm down, been training my carbs down I'm ready to counter, if his moves ain't steady Keep your guard up, make you go guggly like Betty I've been waiting for this day A champion will reign from hard work and discipline to hours of pain Paid off, make a mark before I fade off I do this for the love Got something for the judge, a weapon to kill, so my guns are gloves And to be on the top, it's the ultimate drug So I'm never out of shape, train harder than them scrubs and clubs Stay drinking, I stay home thinking of a perfect combination That'll keep on swinging, gun tappy I hit with the force of a rifle I fight for the gloves, so I'm fighting for the title I got a fist for fakes, so let me fix your face I'm on the grind, I ain't got no time to waste Knocking suckers out, cause time is money And I've been on the grind from Monday to Sunday, yo yeah. Say Pierre, this is this, this where I grew up at since I was eight. The first day I went to the gym, I wanted to spar. And I was like eight years old. I wanted to spar. I told George, let me spar. George Martinez, he's a sergeant. He, he runs the Pierre. He, I told him, like, let me spar, let me spar. He like, no, he ain't, he ain't let me spar. So the next day I went, he wasn't there. I told Victor, the other coach, can I spar? And he let me spar. The first kid, I whooped his ass. The second kid beat me up. I started crying and everything in the ring. I don't know, I could've breathed. I just started crying, just, and whatever. They thought I wasn't gonna, they thought I was gonna stop because there's a bunch of kids that come in and they get, they, they, they lose in the sparring and they leave. So, but I came the next day, dedicated. Like, I wanted to do this. Like, oh, I don't care, you know? And I went in there. And I sparred again, and I just kept going. Since then, I just kept going. I stopped for a little bit. When I was like nine, I stopped. I remember George Martinez, he ended up coming to my house, and he knew where I came out of. Like, he knew what block I grew up in, Monroe and Grove, and they, they saw what was going on over there. And he saw, he was just like, you want this life for, this, for your kid? I remember me, us being in the, um, in the living room, and he's telling my, my parents, you should bring him to the gym. It'd be good for him. Like, he, he's a good, he, he got potential, he got something. He, I was in the gym for like six months, but I stopped. Like, he got potential. So, I remember saying yes, that I want to go back to the gym just because he was there. Just because, only because he was there. So I said yes, I was like, okay, I started boxing again. But then I just fell in love with it. After that, I just never stopped, I never stopped. So come times and I won a couple tournaments and it changed my life. He saved my life. If he would have never came back for me, I would have still been in the streets, just like my friends. Most of my friends either dead or locked up. And I, I, I thank him all my life, every day of my life. I thank him for that, cause he saved my life.
Glenn began boxing at the age of eight and stood out from the start. He had an excellent amateur boxing career with 143 fights, 130 wins, and only 13 losses. In 2003, he won the Silver Gloves and the Junior Olympics. In 2004, he won the Ringside Nationals and became number one in the world. In 2006, he represented the United States in the International Junior Olympics, which was held in Turkey. Glenn won the bronze medal, becoming number three in the world. It's needless to say, he's a natural born champ. Hopefully it works out for me, man. I'm trying to be the best, man. I'm not trying to be a world champion. I'm trying to be one of the best world champions. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, that's what I'm doing now. Yeah. Right here, right here, right. Go up, baby. This is where I grew up at all right here, all my life, man. Rose Street, Monroe. Oh, man. Oh, man. Good. So you looking forward to getting out of here? Yeah, I'm, I want to get out to help. To, for, they could, for somebody, for the kids to see. See that I, I could do it, you know? That, that I could do it. Somebody from, from the neighborhood could do it, you know? Like... I came from the same place that they came from. You know, I came right here. I lived in this building 13 years. And I was, you know, and look, look where I'm at now. I'm doing something positive with my life. I'm not just doing something stupid. You know, if you if you keep it right, you could you could do it. You know, you could you, anybody could do it. And then you'd be an example to the kids that mm -hmm. anybody anybody they can make it out of out of it. They, 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 they get better. They just want, they want to do it. If I could help at least one kid uh, to make it out or inspire somebody to make it out, it's great for me. Mm -hmm. Right here, we right here. 187 Grove Street, baby. <laughs> In my building. You know I was going to be a killer. <laughs> Coming out of there. <laughs> Hold on. Grandmother's coming down now. You know, get to meet my grandmother. I don't want y'all to meet my grandmother. I don't know why. I don't want y'all to know who my grandmother is. But you get to meet my ghetto grandmother. <laughs> Here she come down over the door. Hello, Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. That's where I'm from. In 2010, Glenn was chosen by the number one pound-for-pound -pound champion in the world, Manny Pacquiao, to be one of his sparring partners for the Margarito fight. A great privilege and experience for the young Glenn Tapia. The whole experience with Manny Pacquiao was just one of the best things that ever happened to me in my life, I think, you know. And I was just blessed to be out there with him in the Philippines, with Freddie Roach, one of the best trainers. Um, well, they, they chose me because they knew I was just a, a, a strong fighter that came in and put a lot of pressure on him. Just like Margarito, they, they had a Margarito style. I, I don't fight like Margarito, but I, I had that style that come in a lot and just, and just put pressure a lot. So they knew I was going to do that. So they chose me because of that. 
my style, I guess, is a box of punches to me. I know, like, I know what when I'm in the gym, what I'm doing. And most people, they probably see me as a brawler, but they really don't know. They really don't know how I, how I fight. Most of these guys I'm fighting now, I felt, in my mind, I felt like I could knock them out easy. Like, I could just go in there and just knock them out. So I went over there and just did, did my job. They just knocked them out, just went in there and brought them. Like, just ran over them, you know? But I'm, I could think. I, I know how to think in there. I just don't go in there and I'm not a bar fighter. I just don't go over there and just throw punches stupidly and just throw them in the air. No, I fight. I know how to think. I know when adapt to their style. If a guy's a brawler, I know how to box him and turn him and and do a lot of things. So um, I just want to become the best. I don't want to be uh, just a world champion. I want to be one of the best. So I've seen the styles that are the best. No brawler that just goes in there and fights to become one of the best. You know, you got to know a little bit how to how to move your head and how to block and how to use the defense. And I, I know that style. I know how to do that. I, I, I'm just not in there and, and be a bar fighter. I go in there and, and fight and give you skills. And, and you're going to be entertained every time I do fight. Mm. I hope you have enjoyed Glenn Tapia's story as much as I have. He's an inspirational young man. I wish him the best with his career. Remember, to get to where you want to go, you must first become who you want to be. Until next time, stay strong, stay focused, and you too can be a hometown warrior. Got a fist for face, so let me fix your face. I'm on the grind. I ain't got no time to waste. Knocking suckers out, cause time is money. And I've been on the grind from Monday to Sunday. Yo, in the 12th round, I see his heart. Join the cast of Hometown Warriors and come watch Glenn Tapia live at the Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City for the Gamboa vs. Solis main event on March 26th.